Hey, this is Nick. We're back with Comic Experience Sci-Fi, and we're talking with uh, Q and Brad and Shannon about beer. We're drinking beer, and uh, yeah. cheers. And we're gonna, Eyes missing. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, drinking beer and watching horror movies, because it's something we all enjoy doing. Oh, thank you. Um, so, Shannon, you have a few expert recommendations of beer and horror movies yeah, that go that, well together? Horror movies are, that's just my favorite. But, well. Jurassic World. Did you guys all see Jurassic World? What were your thoughts? I was literally screaming at the end when the T-Rex showdown <laughs> between the... Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler. Whatever, what's the water dinosaur? When that one came out, I was, That's I literally jumped on the couch. It was, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I was screaming. So what I recommend if you watch with your family or friends or is Right Brain's Concrete Dinosaur. The name, it fits, got dinosaur. Um, but the good part is, is it's GABF, it just won a silver medal in 2015 Great American Beer Festival. Huge, huge accomplishment. I mean, I think that category had hundreds of beers in it. It was the rye IPA category, and it's a, it's a brown rye IPA. So it's gonna be a little hoppy, a little doughy, um, but not, not over, I mean, it's gonna be pretty bitter. So are you a big, big I know you like Belgian. I'm not an, an IPA person, the two hoppies, no good. IP, IPA is like one of my least favorites. Oh, okay. Well, maybe for Bitter. this case, I'll watch Jurassic World by myself and drink Concrete Dinosaur. <laughs> IPAs are okay if it's the only thing you're drinking or the first thing you're drinking. Because once something else gets in your mouth, you can't drink it anymore. Because you're going, oh, oh, what was that? Oh, was I drinking that? Oh. But before that, you're like, hey, give me another one of those. You know, so it's it's a it's a palate thing. It's a palate preference, but I will I will try anything once, twice, if they won't kick me out or I get it for free. So yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. Let's schedule a date. Um, we know where Brad's going after this. Yeah. <laughs> right to the bar. Yeah. So what about like cult classic movies? Or do you have one that's just like a great, great cult? Yeah. Who, who doesn't love Ash and the, the, the chainsaw arm? Yes. Right? Yes. Did yeah. you know that he's got a, uh, a TV show on Stars now? Yeah. I don't know how to watch it. I'm not buying cable to get it. I have to see it. Yeah, but our Army of, Army of Darkness with, um, I would say, a six pack of lager on ice because every time he says something ridiculous, um, even, even when he's butchering uh, Klaatu Barata Nikto, uh, and if I didn't know that, I'd have to be kicked off the panel. Um, every time he botches that and you're laughing your ass off, you gotta crack another one and just slam it. Because, I mean, it's like a drinking game, that movie. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Another cult classic that I kind of recommend are, you know, the Caddyshack movies. Oh, Everyone yeah. loves those. Mm -hmm. And there's a great meadery, cidery brewery in uh, Ferndale, which you guys would love, called Bee Nectar. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, oh. but they have a, they have a, a, this is a mead called Kill All the Golfers. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a play <laughs> off of Caddyshack and it has this crazy gopher guy on there and he's like looking like he's gonna kill all the right. golfers. So. That's a great one. And then my personal, I really love The Big Lebowski. So oh yeah, that's a drinking game movie game. too, Absolutely. for certain. And this is the per and the perfect cider to drink with that drinking game would be um, The Dude's Rug, is the name of the cider. It's amazing, really? it's a chai tea cider. Uh -huh. So it's kind of got some of those chai tea aspects to it. Um, but it's delicious. It's a great, great uh, cider, not a mead. And it, the, the label's amazing. If you read the label, it's absolutely hilarious. And the quote on it, it really chied the room together, <laughs> referring to the rug. <laughs> so that was a great one that I love too. So, so since you, you mentioned mead, tell me, because I've been looking at the board here, um, live from Sherwood Brewing Company. Um, I'm looking at this cold steeped coffee mead at nine and a half percent ABV and I'm thinking I may need to taste that. Tell me what a mead is. Taste that, absolutely. Mead involves honey. Is that what it is? Oh, I'll try that so one. So that's the sugar. Exactly. It's a fructose based. I'll try that one. Steeder, not, okay. Can we get a trick? Can we get a taste of that? <laughs> I'm just going off this saying that the dark lager 
you have to watch Star Wars with that one, right? <laughs> Absolutely. You get a growler of that and a Darth Logger the whole time. And a quick mead connection to nerddom, and that is that Thor's father, Odin, right. drank the magic mead to acquire the wisdom of the poets. So drink mead when you watch the Thor films. There you go. <laughs> that is true. I didn't think, just fully. Okay, I think we're wrapping up this segment. Uh, thanks, Shannon. Thanks, guys. And uh, Comic Spirit Sci-Fi, we'll be right back.